All right, gang, welcome back to Couponing with Jeremy. I'm Jeremy, a preacher, a teacher, and a couponer. I love helping people and I love saving money. So in these videos, I wanna to try to help you guys save some money. Now I'm about to share with you some great rebate deals, some savings you can pick up this week at your local Walmart. I just made a trip in store and came back in and I'm gonna share with you guys what I found and maybe some things you could go grab at your local Walmart this week. Now, I will say I didn't do everything live in store because my last few videos, they played the music so loud in my Walmart that um, I got some copyright issues on YouTube. So I'm just gonna be doing some voiceovers with some pictures of the things I picked up and I hope you're cool with that. But two things before we get into the deals, I wanna ask you guys right now to help a brother out Will you take a second right now to subscribe to the channel? It's free to do so. All you gotta do is click that subscribe button right this second, and then hit a thumbs up, give me a like. I would so appreciate that. It'll help me continue to do these videos and we can save together. And the last thing before we get into tonight's deals, I wanna encourage you to download these apps. These are rebate apps which act like reverse coupons. You buy the products, you submit your receipt to the apps, and then they give you some money back. And so definitely we'll be using these tonight as well as a couple others. But if you will download these three apps right now, Fetch, Ibotta, and Shopkick, and use the codes that you see on the screen, Fetch is going to give you back $4 when you submit your first receipt, in addition to what other savings are on there. Ibotta is going to give you back 10 and Shopkick is going to give you back 2 So stop. Take a second, pause the video, download these apps, and then you'll see how I'm using them throughout the rest of the video. But let's save some money, guys. All right, gang, for our first deal tonight, I headed over to the hygiene section and I picked up three Suave products. I grabbed a Suave deodorant for $2.18, a Suave hand sanitizer for $1.47, and a Suave shampoo for $1.94. Abada gave me 50 cent back for the deodorant, and then Shopkit gave me back a bonus because I bought all three of these things. I got $4.70 back, making the final cost just 39 cents for all of these things, or 13 cents each. Y'all, this is a fantastic deal. Everybody needs these products to stay clean, to stay fresh. So y'all go on and pick them on up. Pick them up. Freebie alert, what's up y'all? Gone a couple of hours over, I picked me up a Chic Intuition Bamboo Razor. Now, it was in the wrong spot, but I found it, y'all. I was like, where's Waldo? But I found it. It was $5.97. Got back $4 on coupons.com. Got back $2 from Ibotta. Making this razor absolutely free. We gonna take it, y'all. Pick it up. The next thing I grabbed were two soft soap hand soaps. These were $2.78 each. They're kind of big bottles. They're kind of fancy. They then stepped it up, soft soap. Um, but I picked two of them up because Swag Bucks has a rebate. When you buy two, they give you $4 back, making the final cost just $0.78 cent each. And this is a fantastic deal for a nice soap to put in your bathrooms. All right, now wash your hands. Stay clean. All right, pick them up. Freebie alert. All right, for my next deal, guys, I headed over to the sporting goods section, kind of the camping, weights, you know, all that stuff, and I found this Curad self-adhesive tape that athletes put on. My cheerleaders wear these sometimes. Um, I found this small little set for $1.97, and Shopkit gave me back $2 for it, making this absolutely free. Y'all better go find it and pick it up. All right, gang, so I moved across the store and went to the laundry detergent aisle and I found this all detergent for $3.49. Now, y'all, this is inflation right here because um, when I first started couponing, these were like $2.29 and then they went to $2.49 and then they were $2.99. Now they are $3.49, which is very sad. But I did have an Ibotta rebate taken off 50 cent. And I wanted to do this one, even though it wasn't a great, great deal because some of you actually have a rebate with Ibotta for $1.50. So that's a little lesson. Always double check um, you know, in the app to make sure you have these specific rebates because yours might be more or less than mine. And every once in a while, you'll have a rebate that I don't have or vice versa. But I was able to score this 
for a final cost of $2.99. Not a bad deal. Everybody got to wash their clothes. Pick it up. So then I picked up uh, this Carvana Color Grabber for $3.97. Now, there are two different Ivata remakes that are attached to this one. You're really only supposed to use one of them. Um, and in the app, I did only use one of them, but it still ended up giving me back two credits for this one. So I actually got $2 back for this one, but they may change that at any time. So the final cost would be just $2.97. Now, this is a pretty good little product if you're like me and you wash everything together. Um, I don't separate whites and colors. Forgive me, laundry detergent police. Uh, but anyway, if you want to use this product, um, it's a pretty good one. And also, there is a $1 coupon within the box itself. So if you buy it once, you'll have a coupon for your next visit. All right, y'all, pick it up. While on that same aisle, I went ahead and picked up these Purex Pods, 21 count. They are $2.97, which is already a decent deal. Ibotta gave me back a dollar, making the final cost just $1.97. Pretty sweet deal, y'all. Pick them on up. All right, gang, and the last thing I picked up on this aisle was the Purex detergent, four in one. I got the Mountain Breeze because I like the way it smells. It's $4.97. Ibotta's giving us a rebate for $1.50 making it just $3.47. Now, this isn't the best deals I've ever gotten on these laundry products, but they were not bad, and I need to kind of restock because I just had a big old stockpile sale yesterday, and so I need to restock a little bit, so I went ahead and snagged it myself. If you think it's a good deal, pick it up. All right, guys, I found just a couple of food deals that I thought were pretty good. I snagged this ragu for $1.50. I bought it had a rebate for $0.50, cent, making the final cost just a dollar, which isn't a huge savings. Well, it's 33% off, and we will take it in this time of inflation, y'all. Everybody needs marinara sauce. Grab it, put it in your pantry. Pick it up. And then I went over to Cookie Isle and I snagged two Pillsbury cookies for $2.98 each. Coupons.com has a rebate taken off a dollar when you buy two. I bought it also, it's given back 50 cents per bag of cookies and then I got a 25 cent rebate because I had done this one once before so I got a dollar 25 back if it's your first time you get a dollar back but for me my final cost was just 185 per thing of cookies so again that's a dollar and a little change from each thing of cookies not a bad savings y'all pick them up I know you got a sweet tooth and last but not least on that checkout aisle I picked up a Butterfinger bar for 94 cent Ibotta gave me back $0.25, cent, making the final cost just $0.69. Cent. Not the most incredible deal. I'm actually going to get some Butterfingers for free at Walgreens later this week. But I was hoping to get an Ibotta bonus for picking up a bunch of different rebates. So I went ahead and picked this one up. If you want one, pick it up. Make your child happy. Pick it up. Here's just a quick snapshot of what my cart looked like. All the deals that we talked about earlier. I did use self-checkout today. I didn't have to use any coupons. So it was easy breezy lemon squeezy. All right, gang, we are back in from Walmart tonight. And here are the things that I was able to pick up. Hope you can go score these same things as well as some other things on your own shopping list. But these are the things that I have rebates and discounts for. So I wanted to share these with you tonight. So overall, pretty good haul. I didn't have any coupons to scan and so it went really smoothly really quickly came back home and that's when I took pictures of my receipts and put them in all the different rebate apps and so let me show you the savings let's look at the breakdown so today is May 1st I went to Walmart and retail plus taxes everything added up to $45.97 coupons.com is giving me back five dollars for the two things I showed you before Fetch, I didn't have any real fetch big time bonuses, so just got back five cent, but five cent, hey, we'll take it. I bought it. This is where I had a little bit of a hiccup. I got back $9.50, which is what I was expecting, except I thought I was going to earn one more bonus, a weekend warrior bonus. I thought I was going to get five more dollars because I got um, nine rebates, but apparently one of the rebates... Um, Maybe I had already used earlier in the week, which I was confused about, but it's a little bummed about missing that $5, but it's not worth going back to Walmart for five bucks. It'll all come out in the wash. All right, shop kit, getting back $6.70, and swag bucks got back $4.02, making the adjusted total 
2070. So all the way down from 4597 to 2070 is a savings of 55%. Guys, we just saved 55% on these things that we can use or we can share with others. So that is what I'm talking about. This is why we coupon. So gang, I certainly want to encourage you, jump on this train, okay? Help a brother out. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video, comment, let me know what deals you found at Walmart, which ones of these you're going to snag. If you've got a question and I can answer it, or if you've got a tip for me, let me know. And remember, I take a second to pray specifically by name for every commenter, for every new subscriber that lets me know that they're around. So please, guys, get on board with me. Let's save together in 2022. Uh, we all know that inflation ain't no joke, so let's do all that we can to save some money together. All right, gang, you know we always close out our videos with a little bit of scripture encouragement. And so today I want to share with you from Mark 11, 25. I had a college student, one of our awesome guys, actually came and preached in my place this morning. And I got to sit and listen, and he shared all about forgiveness. And he shared this verse as part of his sermon. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone... Forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. Guys, I certainly want to encourage you. Jesus is our best example in every way, right? And Jesus forgave us our sins. So shouldn't we also forgive the sins of those who hurt us? Guys, there's nothing that will bring healing and freedom in your life like the forgiveness of Christ and then the forgiveness that you pass on to others. The Spirit of God in you can enable you to forgive even those who have hurt you. So I pray that you will find forgiveness in Christ this week and be able to share it with others as well. All right, gang, if this video has been helpful to you, I ask you to take a second and help a brother out. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, and let me know what you learned or what questions you have or just that you're new here but until i see you in the next video take care god bless you